Hey yo, hello. You're welcome to my channel once again. My name is Beauty Akwai. So this topic is very interesting. Bad listening habits in relationship or marriage. I hope you know communication is important for your marriage. I hope you know it's important for your relationship. And I hope you even know that listening is one very important aspect of communication. So come to this video with me. Let me tell you or show you how to listen to your partner when you guys are having conversations, any form of conversation. I'll be right back after the break. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe. Click, click, click that subscribe button. Good job. Thank you. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So let's jump right into this video. I'm excited about this. The first um, bad listening habit is disengaging mentally when our partner is talking to us. A lot of us are guilty of this. You know how somebody will be talking to you? You are looking at that person, yet you are not hearing what they are saying. Mentally, you are somewhere else. Maybe you are thinking of what you are going to eat the next minute, or the appointment you have, how you are running late, how you have many things to do. No, it's a very bad listening habit to disengage when you people are having a serious conversation mentally. Okay, the second bad listening habit people have in their relationship or marriage is going off with their own story. Please, can you allow me finish my story first? So people can interrupt you when you are talking. They will not allow you to finish before they can chip in their own points, before they can start explaining why they did not do and why they did. Let your partner finish talking before you jump into the conversation and start telling us your story. Let your partner finish first. The third bad listening habit is giving um, your advice immediately. I'm going to explain. Rather than empathizing with our partner's feeling first, we want to just jump into the conversation and give the advice and give admonition and say whatever we want to say. See, when you're listening to your partner, calm down. Empathize with them. And see, in fact, you can even take out time to say, I understand how you feel. It will make this person know that you really got everything they were saying to you. You understood their point clearly. So instead of jumping into um, advising them, you can quickly just say, see, I understand what you say. Um, I know how you feel. Sometimes you could just hug them first. You could just be holding their hands first and say, okay, I understand, I understand. Or some of us, that's how you just jump and start giving advice, empathize understand feeling okay another uh, mistake is interrupting with our own point of view or finishing your partner's statements for them you don't always um assume that you know where your partner is going with a conversation a lot of us are guilty of this can you please be patient for your partner to finish what they are saying before you now complete the sentence for them. Most times, communications that are like this ends in arguments because your partner is going to be frustrated. Imagine finishing a statement when they're even trying to tell you something that is not even related to what you just finished the statement with. Can you allow them to finish their statement? If you were actually listening to understand and not listening to reply, you won't finish their statement for them. So learn to, which will take me to my next point, not listening to understand, but listening to reply. I know a lot of you have a guilty of this game game. Your partner is talking and instead of you to understand what they are saying, you are thinking of the next reply you are going to give to them. You are thinking of how you can explain yourself so that they will not say you are guilty. You are thinking of how you say the next thing. 
No, it's a very bad listening habit. First, you want to listen to understand. I teach this a lot in my premarital class. Listen to understand, not listen, not listening to reply. Okay, so know the difference. Another thing is um, engaging with other things while your partner is talking to you. Do you know that one of the signs or people feel like they have your attention when you maintain eye contact with them, especially when they are talking to you or when they are having a conversation with you and you maintain eye contact, even if you are not listening, they assume you're hearing what they are talking about or what they are saying to you. So most times, some of you, they are talking to you, you are pressing phone, you are watching TV and you are saying, I'm hearing you. Some of you what women said, you'll be washing plates. You'll be, you'll be cooking. Talk now. I'm listening. No. Hansi, you're not listening. You're turning still. Uncle, you're not sleep. You're not listening. You're on TikTok. You're on Instagram. You're on Facebook. One thing that would make um, listening special or make your partner know that you are really listening to them is that you drop your phone, you maintain eye contact as they are talking. It will make them feel like you respect them or you value their opinion. You value the communication at that point in time. So the next time your partner is talking to you, you may want to drop that plate you are washing. You may want to drop that phone. Leave that laptop. Face them. Engage them. See, in fact, the next mistake is not um, giving them um, the body language that you understand. Do you know that by simply nodding and giving some signs like, hmm, oh, really? Okay. Oh, wow. They'll feel like they have your attention. <laughs> See, these are little things you do that makes your relationship or marriage beautiful. When you want to listen, listen with all your heart. Okay? So this is listening, bad listening habit. I'm going to do another video on how to listen. Okay? So I'll see you um, when... Oh, should I just do it now? I'll do another video. So see you. Bye! <laughs> um, Please, before I go, if you have a question, ask. Okay? I'll be in the comment section replying your questions. Bye.